I came from Life Magazine, where a photo team was one photographer, Isa's Nat Say, and one correspondent, myself Say, and were able to come back with pictures that had real power in them. At that time, you weren't getting that kind of power from television, uh, documentaries, or news. And the question was, how do you do that? So we had a camera that was being worked on, which had new gears in it so that you couldn't, uh, the sound was, was reduced. And it had uh, a, a zoom lens, which the cameras never had before, and many other features. So I began looking for a story to shoot with our new camera. Senator Kennedy. There was this young senator running for president who didn't have a chance. He was a Catholic, he was too Catholic. He was rich, he was too rich. He was, was sort of Eastern seaboard. And the president was against him. And I thought, what a wonderful story. So I contacted uh, his people and set up an appointment uh, in Georgetown. It was morning and Kennedy came down the stairs in his townhouse coughing and sneezing, and his eyes were blurry, and he was wearing an old bathrobe. And he looked at me and he said, what do you want? And I said, I want to place a camera with you for day and night for five days in Wisconsin while you're running for president for the nomination. And uh, he said, why should I do that? And I said, this is a new form of journalism and we're simply going to watch what happens. We're not going to direct, we're not going to light, we're not going to ask you to do anything, but we have to be there. And he said, well, why should I do it? And I said, because this will be a new form of history also, and it'll be a true history of what happened in Wisconsin. And we went up to Wisconsin and made the film Primary, which was the first film ever made candidly in Sig Sound. And that started a, a whole school of filmmaking, and it started us on a whole series of films on Kennedy. <laughs> 